Welcome to the Hoopsville Studios as we get you set for the season debut of Hoopsville. The studios are still to be completed and decorated as you can see behind us. However, we are looking forward to having you joining us here on Thursday, November 13th as we tip off the season here on Hoopsville and get you ready for the season start officially on Saturday. But we will talk about two games that have started the season already. The first will be the Lauren Hill game between uh, Mount St. Joseph and, of course, Hiram. It got plenty of national attention for good reasons. Season. We'll talk more about that game and even talk to one of those who was involved in broadcasting that game. On top of that, we'll talk to the two national defending champions who also still are the D3Hoops.com preseason number one teams. After you, Florham on the women's side, and of course, Wisconsin Whitewater on the men's side. Their two coaches will join us to talk about the season ahead, the targets that are clearly on their back, how long Florham can continue to win. You remember, they went undefeated last season. We'll see how long they go until they may or may not suffer their first loss. Of course, Whitewater in a tough WIAC, but also with a big target. We'll talk to their head coach about how much expectations are for them, including how much they lost from that team. We'll also talk to DeSales men's basketball coach. Believe it or not, DeSales is the winningest program in the Mid-Atlantic this century. We'll talk to him about how he switched into the Atlantic region officially. Also talk to him about the Mac Freedom and why he thinks it's a bit of a jumble. And we'll also talk to him about what has been the secret behind winning so many games at DeSales. We'll also talk about the upcoming Armed Forces game between Hamden, Sydney, and Coast Guard. That's the second game that starts the season early. That's a Friday game on the 14th, and it's going to be on ESPNU. So Division Three starts with two games on national television. Not too bad. We'll talk to both head coaches at Hamden, Sydney, and Coast Guard about that game and what they're expecting from it and the experience. Of course, being played on a Coast Guard base certainly has something to be said for Coast Guard and how it what it means for them as well. But again, the show coming up here on Thursday, we'll talk to FTU Florham and Whitewater about defending champs and being number one. Talk about the Lauren Hill story and the Armed Forces game, and we'll talk to DeSales about being a winning program and switching regions as well. That's all coming up on Hoopsville. Don't forget, you can interact with us on Twitter at D3Hoopsville or hashtag Hoopsville. You can also join us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Hoopsville. If you have guest ideas, you have thoughts, you have anything you want to share with us, email us, Hoopsville at D3Hoops.com. That's how you interact with us. We look forward to seeing you here Thursday, November 13th, 7 o'clock Eastern time as we tip off the season here of Division Three basketball and, of course, Hoopsville, presented by D3Hoops.com and the National Association of Basketball Coaches. See you then.